The Last Emperor, a historical drama film directed by Bernardo Bertolucci and released in 1987, is an epic biographical portrayal of Pu Yi, the last emperor of China, and his tumultuous life from his ascension to the throne at the tender age of three to his eventual imprisonment and transformation into a common citizen in post-revolutionary China. The film features an ensemble cast of international actors, including John Lone as Pu Yi, Joan Chen as his first wife Wan Yong, Peter O'Toole as Reginald Johnston, Pu Yi's Scottish tutor, and Ng Ruocheng as the governor of the prison where Pu Yi is held. The film garnered critical acclaim for its exquisite cinematography, intricate production design, and evocative score, and won nine Academy Awards, including Best Picture, Best Director, and Best Adapted Screenplay. The movie begins with the fall of the Qing dynasty and the subsequent political upheavals in China in the early 20th century, which marked the end of centuries of imperial rule. Pu Yi, who is chosen as the emperor of the new puppet state of Manchu Kuo by the Japanese invaders, is portrayed as a naive and pampered child, isolated from the world and unaware of the chaos outside the walls of the Forbidden City. The film then follows Pu Yi's journey through various stages of his life, from his interactions with his tutors and fellow eunuchs in the palace, his marriages and relationships with women, his political maneuvering and eventual downfall, and his life as a commoner in communist China. One of the central themes of the movie is the clash between tradition and modernity, which is embodied in the character of Pu Yi. As the last emperor, he is a living symbol of a bygone era, a reminder of the grandeur and majesty of imperial China. However, he is also a product of his time, shaped by the political and social forces of the early 20th century. The film portrays Pu Yi as a victim of historical circumstances, a pawn in the hands of various political factions who seek to use him for their own ends. The scenes of Pu Yi's coronation and subsequent abdication are particularly poignant, as they highlight the stark contrast between the splendor of the imperial court and the chaos and violence of the outside world. Another important theme of the movie is the idea of identity and self-discovery, which is explored through Pu Yi's relationships with the people around him. As a child, Pu Yi is isolated from the world, and his only companions are his eunuchs and tutors, who form a surrogate family for him. However, as he grows older and begins to interact with women, he discovers new aspects of himself, and his sense of identity is gradually transformed. His relationships with Wan Yong and later with the Japanese tutor, Kawashima, reveal the complexities and contradictions of his character, as he struggles to reconcile his role as a ruler with his personal desires and aspirations. The film also touches on the themes of power and authority, and the corrupting influence of absolute power. Pu Yi is portrayed as a man who is ill-equipped to deal with the challenges of ruling a vast empire, and his attempts to assert his authority are often met with resistance and rebellion. His relationships with his various advisors and ministers are fraught with tension and distrust, as they jostle for position and influence. The scenes of his imprisonment and re-education in the hands of the Communist Party illustrate the brutality and dehumanizing effects of totalitarianism, as Pu Yi is forced to confront the consequences of his actions and the limits of his power. The performances of the actors in the film are exemplary, particularly John Lone, who portrays Pu Yi with a blend of vulnerability, arrogance, and eventual humility. Lone captures the essence of Pu Yi's character, from the innocence and wonder of his early years to the bitterness and regret of his later life. His portrayal of Pu Yi's relationships with Wan Yong and Kawashima is particularly moving, as he conveys the conflicting emotions of desire, betrayal, and regret that Pu Yi experiences. Joan Chen's portrayal of Wan Yong is also noteworthy, as she brings a sense of warmth and humanity to a character who could have easily been reduced to a plot device. Peter O'Toole's performance as Reginald Johnston, Pu Yi's Scottish tutor, is also memorable, as he imbues the character with a sense of dignity and compassion that contrasts with the cold and calculating nature of the other advisors in the palace. The cinematography and production design of the movie are also striking, as they capture the grandeur and beauty of imperial China with stunning visual imagery. 
Overall, The Last Emperor is a masterful work of cinema, a tour de force of storytelling, acting, and production design. It captures the sweep and grandeur of Chinese history with a sense of intimacy and humanity, portraying the complexities and contradictions of the human experience with compassion and insight. It is a tribute to the power of cinema to transcend cultural and linguistic boundaries, to illuminate the human condition with clarity and beauty. If this content was valuable to you, would you please be willing to give me a like, a subscribe, or a comment? It would help this channel a lot. Thanks.